Hello guys and welcome by this text exploding tutorial. This is going to be the long tutorial version, so it's going to be a long tutorial. Now, first thing what I need you to do to actually create the project is download a plugin called Thrallsy. You can download it from nitro4d.com. I'll provide a link in the description. You'll come on this page and you can download the plugin here for free for Cinema 4D R11.5 or Cinema 4D R12. However, I am using Cinema 4D R11.5. And download this plugin, put it into the plugins folder of your Cinema 4D root folder, and we'll do that. And start Cinema 4D, and the plug plugin will be in Cinema 4D. So that's what you need to do for this tutorial. Anyhow, the plugin is free, so it's a really awesome plugin and it's free, so you can download it. Okay, let's start setting up the render settings at Control B. And the render settings I use in a project that you might have saw in a menu video. It was three seconds long and it took me five hours to render. However, the result is stunning and it's really beautiful. So I am using the same uh, render settings that I used in that video actually. And we're going to set it for all frames. And where it's here all about is the effects. Well, we're going to add some global illumination and we're going to add ambient occlusion and we're going to make this contrast about 15%. Once you've done this, you can close this and you're in your render settings project to say it like that. So, let's start making this text exploding. We're going to start adding a sky and a floor. Why a sky? The global illumination uses a sky for reflection and all that kind of stuff. So it, it is really good and it looks really natural. So do that first and then we're going to create some text. So go and create a text line. I'm going to uh, call mine just my name, Fido. I'm Dutch for the people that don't know yet. I'm going to change the font as well. I found a pretty cool font called Space Age. Uh, Space Age. You can download that from dafont.com or dafont.com. I'll also provide a link in the description for that. And you can download pretty cool fonts from there for just personal use. However, we're going to extrude this spline so here we have our text. Now I also used a self-made material and I also used a gold material that I used before in my builder tutorial. I'm gonna import those right now in the gold tutorial material and I will also load in my other glossy black material. I'll upload this to a multi upload you can choose between rep share z share mega upload and all that kind of stuff so you can look in the description for links for the materials as well so what we're going to do is apply this glossy black material to the expert nerves and always remember to rename the attributes in your objects list so the floor is just a floor, sorry for that. We're going to group this, Alt-G, and we're going to call this scene. So okay, we have the text right now, and all we need to do is get that plugin. So go plugins, Thrillsy 1.22 is what I have, and then Thrillsy. And this is the Thrillsy menu. I'm going to expand it a little bit. And... What we're going to do here is go to the tab dynamic and set this to on collision. Go back to the Thrillsy and go pieces. I'm going to do 10 pieces. What this does is it will break up my 
object into 10 pieces, but with the text, it does it 10 pieces per letter. So, yeah, 10 pieces a letter, that's kind of good for me, and it works pretty quick. Remember, you're working with pieces, so a lot of different sh yeah, pieces, so it will go really slow. Depends on what kind of system you have. I don't have a really good system, so hit break now, and it's going to break up the letters pretty quickly and there we go now we can get rid of the frozy window and what I'm going to do here is again rename this uh, this is the G this is the U the O D and the I or you can sort this out which I'm going to do so here we go and what we're going to do is we're going to click on this little icon here and you see here that the trigger is on collision what that means is colli on collision if those pieces break down and they touch another letter then it starts falling apart that's what on collision means and well we can set this to immediately and look what happens if we pr press play right now the D just drops and yeah that's what hap what's happening but it drops down because it doesn't recognize the floor as a floor the pieces are just like particles and you need to say to the floor hey your floor and the pieces need to stay on that floor so how do we say that to the floor? Well, we're going to expand the scene. We're going to right click in here. And what Thrills uses to break up all in pieces, it uses MoGraph. So we need to have a MoGraph tag called Rigid Body. Once we click that and we hit play again, you see the letter crumbling down. And because of the D is touching the, the O with this particular piece the O also breaks down the U after that because pieces there will touch it and then the U will touch the G well we're gonna use a bullet to fly through the D so that's what we're gonna use and so we're gonna yeah go and make the bullet right now I'm, I'm turning the letters off so, so that I can focus on the bullet right now the bullet is another actually tutorial you can also view it on my channel and if you want only the bullet with full explanation on how to do text on it you might see my wanted tutorial wanted bullet tutorial kinda you can also find that in the links description in the description of this video sorry so, okay, let's go lab nerves and drag this into there. Also, rename this to bullet. Go to the spline coordinates, minus 90, and there we have the perfect bullet. Now, I'm going to apply the gold 03 material to the bullet. It just looks really nice, and especially with the render settings I'm using right now, it looks really as gold, so it looks really, really, really nice. Okay, I'm going to. I'm gonna go and show the text again, and of course the bullet is a little bit too big, but I'm gonna rotate it anyhow to 90 degrees. There we go. It's gonna fly through the D, and we're gonna scale down a little bit. Now this is all about precision and all that kind of stuff. You can choose your own letter this looks actually pretty good now as you might remember the bullet is just it's it's not working right now because due to MoGraph it isn't an object so we need to rigid this body as well so bullet right click on bullet go MoGraph rigid body and that will do the job 
to say to MoGraph, hey, this is actually an object. You can pieces can go through this object. You need to bump them away if they come in touch with each other. So, okay, well, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna animate the bullet from frame 10. Uh, we're gonna send it away. 1400 and we're gonna set a keyframe here go to frame 25 and go take the bullet back in out of view so this is about good this close but out of view so here okay now there's only one thing left we said to the D Hey, you need to immediately break down into pieces. We need to shut that off. So go back to that D here. And what we're going to search for here is the point where the bullet is almost touching the text. So if you can see, this is the last point where the bullet is without touching the text if it wasn't falling apart. As you can see, I just disabled it for a second. And we're going to use this method. Hold Ctrl and click this little circle here that will set a keyframe. And go one frame after that and you'll see the bullet is right through the D. And we're going to enable it and we're going to set a keyframe. And there we go. Bam! As you can see it looks pretty cool. So, this is the um, tutorial actually, but there is one thing left to do. You saw that when the text is falling apart, you can see here it has two colors. It has colors of the inside and the outside. The outside is the black glossy and the inside is a material that throws the edit to the materials and that's this one cut inside as you can see now we're gonna change this what I use is actually ex exactly the same as my glossy black material so I'm gonna double click that and actually I know what I did so go reflection here turn reflection on go press now uh, we're going to give it a reflection of 15%. Go back to color and I'm going to use an enhanced color table. And I'm going to give it an orange color, not too orange. This might be good. So this looks good. And as you can see, it has orange on the inside right now. So what I'm going to show you right now is the render result. And we might. What we can do as well is set up the camera for a second. I'm going to select everything so it will orbit really nicely around it. The thing is, you can't see the bullet. You cannot see the bullet. I'm getting so. Okay, this looks pretty good. Okay, we're going to hit play and bam. There we go. If we render out right now, which is what I'm going to do, it will take a long time, but we have a really nice render. And I'm going to pause the video, and when it's done rendering, I will put it back on. And there we go. It's done. And as you can see, it looks really good. Due to the render settings I used, we have a really nice gloss around the glossy black to say it like that and we have a really nice reflection on the text it looks just really good and if you render it out in 720p HD it looks really good so yeah that was this tutorial thanks for watching and if you have any questions or something like that you can email me you can ask questions in the comments I always read my comments so you can leave a comment if you have questions.
So yeah, that was it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching, and please leave comments.